much deserved recognition for the Portsmouth police officers who rescued one of their own shot in the line of duty. The police chief says their actions saved the life of Officer Angelina Boclini, who's been in the hospital for a week now. Ten on your side, Joe Fisher is live in front of City Hall, where the officers were recognized. Joe. Laura Jean Boclini tells me that her daughter is in very high spirits and is already itching to get back on the job. Meanwhile, tonight we're hearing from the retired Portsmouth police sergeant who said tonight God put him in the right spot at the time of last Tuesday's shooting. The standing ovation inside council chambers for the three officers credited with keeping Angelina Boccolini alive. They came together um, when in the time of need. Officer Boccolini was shot five times last week in Mount Hermon by a 15-year-old runaway she was trying to arrest. I mean, you can see she was in shock, you know, you know just tell her just hang in there. Jervis Brown, a retired sergeant, happened to be in the area when he heard the gunshots and saw Bocklini drop to the ground. When I utilized the police radio, her police radio, just a matter of just calling me and telling me they had a female officer down with gunshot wounds in the 20, 500 block of Hickory Street. Within minutes, Detective Dyer tended to a gunshot wound in her shoulder. Officer Bryant stood lookout, and Detective Alexander applied a tourniquet to Bocklini's leg. Immediately after her surgery, um, one of the surgeons um, came over to me, and he wanted me to relay to Detective Alexander, had he, had not, had he not applied the tourniquet to her leg, um, the outcome would have been vastly different. Bocklini's mom, Jean, in attendance to see the officers be recognized. You know, if they hadn't been we're there in time. She wouldn't be here now. She says Angelina joined the force about a year and a half ago, a lifetime dream to help people fulfilled. She said that she knew that Portsmouth is where she wanted to be and that Portsmouth needed her. Portsmouth still needs her, and Jean says her daughter can't wait to get back on patrol. She has a long recovery, so, you know, she's going to take her time and she's working hard. And Bocklini is walking and talking, but it could be about a month before she's released from the hospital, her mom says. Now the police department hosted a blood drive yesterday for Bocklini. It was so successful that they're hosting a second blood drive next Monday. And Laura, the department has also set up a donation fund to support Bocklini's recovery. We posted all of that information over on wavy.com, but you heard her mom there tonight. Portsmouth still needs her. Back to you.